on everybody and I'm back. What I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to cut it a bit short because I've already finished the, the quest. But it was a very, very long quest. It looked like it took us two or three hours. So what I'm going to do is show you how I got there and where we found it. So uh, when I'm talking found it, I found the quest. So let's do that first of all. On the map here, let's have a go back to normal view. You'll see there's the Hydra. And beside the Hydra or near to the Hydra, there's three um well markers so they're actually the labyrinth so let's go to that labyrinth now where is my marker this has happened the second time <laughs> to actually get that i have to quit and start again i'll come back in a second so i just quit the game and started again and you can see the markers there so we have to go basically the opposite direction we have to go south east like this i think and we're going to aim for the bottom one. So I'll just fly my way there. Oops, fly my way forwards. That is, it would be fastest. As we go over the old. So they've actually marked labyrinth here. But that's actually a different labyrinth. In fact, I would like to find the first labyrinth. So we're going to avoid this area. Because it's just acid rain. <laughs> Now we go south. Well, I didn't avoid it quite as I had intended to. So I'd have to put it with the acid rain a bit. I presume I've got everything I need to protect myself against that. It doesn't seem to do too much damage. I can always eat a bit anyway. Now I think, yes, I'm here. But I'm not exactly sure where this one is. There's actually three labyrinths. As you can see here is one. Let's see if we can find an entrance to it. Maybe it's even easy just to dig our way down. Hey, let's just take the pickaxe. I'm going to set it to two by one mode and just dig. See if we can find it. I'm sure it's here somewhere. But I'm not exactly sure where it is. I have a look. Let's do the top one. Well, it's not down. <laughs> it's not down there anyway. But maybe it's here somewhere. And uh, what have I found here? Have I found one of those? Let's go to the map again. Well, it should be here. There should be a labyrinth here, but I don't see it. This is obviously one of those places with the ores. Which I'm not going to do with now. There's one of these little guys over here. There's two of these little guys, actually. These, what are they called? Kobold. Kobold. Let's just uh, let's just sort these guys out. Did I kill him one go? Well, that was a bit efficient. That doesn't normally happen. Anyway, we'll just I just sort this guy out, and maybe I get a heart from him. Who knows? Hearts are always good. Makes these funny noises, but didn't. They're quite difficult because they move around a lot. No, I can't be a bit too high, aren't I? Hundred and seventy. One thing I don't really like about this mod pack are these blight mods. There's actually no point to them. It's not as though they're difficult to kill. They're just irritating because they take such a long time to kill. 133. Look at this. Of course, without the reliquary charms, it would be a lot more difficult. This is for certain. But I think that's actually a good thing. It must be about. It must be about done. Oh, got a bat in the process today. Yeah. 
could get a bit of knockback with the with the uh, with the as well. So. I got two hearts anyway. So here, there should be a. Oh, my food situation. There should be a. Oh, a labyrinth, and I don't know where it is. And it does actually tell. Let's have a look. See, in here I should have some books. I'm not sure if I kept them with me or dumped them back here. Look. Notes on an icy cave. Notes on an Ophir. These three, th these books here, Notes on the Highland, they actually give you information. So if I take one of these out of here. I'm not sure which one it is. We have to look at Let's look at this one. Okay. So the blizzard surrounding these snowy lands is unceasing. There is no ordinary snowfall. This is a magical phenomenon. I will have to conduct experiments to find what is capable of causing such an effect. At the centre of the dark forest, uh, where the leaves turn red and the grass dies, there's a wooden tower. The tops of the tower are fixed with structures acting like antenna. The antenna are not the source of the snowfall, but serve merely to boost the power of the curse causing it. The blizzard this intense must be caused by a powerful creature, most likely found near the top of the dark of the dark forest tower. Stop the creature and the blizzard will fade. Okay, so that's of a clue. I'm not sure which one it's for, but let's put that back. Let's have a look at this one. This is notes on an ephoreal thing. So I can it's still about the blizzard. I overcame one blizzard just to run into a terrible ice storm on top of the glacier. My explorations have shown me that the splendour of the ice palace shining with the colours of the um colours of the rainbow colours of the all seem what's well, a bit strange all seem to protect by some sort of curse. I am no novice, this curse is fed by the power of the creature nearby. The cause of the curse surrounding the fire swamp was built of the power of the minotaurs nearby. Ah, yeah, okay, I get it. So this is talking about, um, this is talking about the Hydra. And the middle, surrounding this glacier, there are masses of yetis. Perhaps the yetis have some sort of leader. So I'm not sure whether this is what we're talking That must be to do with the Hydra, and it's somewhere here. And I'm not sure if we've got to deal with that. Let's go back to the map again. Because it tells me it's this direction. Okay, let's go in this direction and see if we can find this thing. I, but I was, as I tell you already, I've done this, so. But I haven't done this one. Let's have a look at the map again. I might going in the right direction I am. But I don't know what height it is. If this fails, I'll go and find you the other one. No, I don't see it at all. But what I... Yes. That's just skelly, isn't it? So I don't know where this one is. I'm stuck on something. Right, okay. So let's go back to the, the map here. And you can see this has become up to the Hydra. And this one is the one I've actually completed. And I'll show you that in the next part of the episode, I think. So this is the bit I, I'm failing to understand. I think it's this one I've completed. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Oh, look. Ah. Yeah, this is the one I've completed. And these guys here, you just basically have to touch them. Oops, I just missed that one. Press the wrong key. I'm pressing yes, I want to press that one. I just strafe them like that and it's 
reasonably easy. All right, got him. So this is the one I did, and so that's what it looks like. And this was the second level. Which I'm surprised about that. So the other one is over here, and I didn't do this one. And I'm not sure if you've got to do all three of them in order to reduce the power of the Hydra. It's something like that. But anyway, it's fairly easy to see in that case if you can do it that way. I'm not sure if it... Oh, oh here we go, look. Makes life a bit easier. Oops, free lag. So this is one that it looks like. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here because I'm not going to do this fight again. <laughs> Once was enough. So... The rest of this video is going to be about the last part of it when I actually do the, the boss. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. Well, hello everybody, I'm back. I've had an idea. <laughs> I've come back to base, cleaned up some stuff, and I'm going to get a little crafting table I've made here. I'll put that down, I think. Because I figured out, in fact, that's probably why the paper was around here. We can actually do this. We can make a maze map focus. And I think if we look at this, it shows us where we are. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm a bit stuck with this one. I will be honest. So let's have a look at, oh, I'll dig this up, I think. A bit slow with the, some food, but it'll do. So what I'm gonna do with this how am I going to do this? Let's take these tools down here. I should have repaired my stuff, really. I don't need that. I want this with me. And I probably need this. Let's give that a quick sword. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and go and be logical about it. So I'm going to go... First of all, we'll go down here and we'll say... What should we going to do this? So every junction, we're going to start here, every junction, we go down, we're going to put one down. So whenever we come to a new junction, and I'm going to have to ignore everything I've done. I can have a look at the map focus, of course, that'll help. So here's a junction. So we're going to take block off the left-hand side here, and go on the right-hand side. Now we've got four junctions, so we'll do the same thing here. So we'll block off all of these and we'll come down this one and we'll say we're going to go down here so we'll keep to the right that's a dead end am I doing this the right way around? I probably should be using green shouldn't I say it's go but it doesn't matter we've picked orange now so we know that this is now a dead end. So we put a dead end, which will say this is a dead end with a. Actually, I would like to use an orange one. So we go down here. So now we've got a choice. Oops, get out of the way first of all. <laughs> Forgot we got these guys. Not that difficult. So now we've got a choice. I've got to try and be logical like I did with the other place. So I'll put the red one, orange one down to say we've not done that one, go down the screen one here. Okay, now we come to a choice. Orange. Orange. So now we come to this middle bit. So we've now got to basically go down. We're going to go down this one. Okay, that's dead end. I'm going to put oranges on all of these. Without waiting, of course. So we're going to go down this one. So here we are. Okay, orange that way, and we're going to go left. Oops. So 
here we are again. So we're going to say orange is on the right. It's not quite like the same maze as before. So we're going to block off all of these. So we're not going to go down those yet. We're going to keep to the right hand side here. Okay, that's new. We've been down there before, so that is definitely new. So let's go and say we're going to go down this one. Oops. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Can't see him. How much blindness have we got? Oh, a lot of them. Where do they go come from? I'll tell you what I probably should be doing. I should be putting down a, a mega torch in the middle of this, shouldn't I? from this guy but you can I'm looking at the top bar there he's actually dying I think he's just died So let's go back a bit. But it might not be a bad idea to block this hole off. So we're going left hand side, aren't we? Retreat a bit. one down here and go left okay I don't think we can get through here let's just double check okay so that's now blocked off oops I shouldn't do that should I I'm not sure what that orange means on that but don't mind so we're going carrying on down here. So we've come back to where we finished, I think. Where we started, I mean, because here's the orange block. So which, <laughs> do you know, I'm being daft. So we basically started here I think where the where the spawn point was here. So I think that was to say I went down here. So I was using the other colours to start. Let's pick this up. Let's look at the map. Yes it looks like we've done this bit of the map, doesn't it? Or maybe not. Right, these are the, oh, another one of these guys. I think I walked into that one. <laughs> Gonna shoot things out there and make big holes, see? Oh, oh, he didn't, didn't take too much to get killed, though, did he? Mm. 
So where are we? Okay, dead end. So that's a dead end. So let's put down. going down three to four each time I hit him and with a katana it's going down one so I'm doing more damage with this it's gonna take a while so it's now level seven whatever that means I have no idea what that means Take a while to deal with this guy. <laughs> Even though he's standing still, it's waiting for me to hit him. With ten, tonight one more hit and it should be done. Good. Oh, a spider chunk. Right. easier than it was before. Okay, we got a point, so I'm gonna go block that one off and go this way. Oh, this must be it. I found it at last. Okay, good. Well, that was hard work. Oh. Black guys 
was really difficult, but I've got plenty of health still, so I'll just carry on. I won't try to do it any other way. Keeping me looking at myself. 18 health, that's fine. health fairly quickly when we've eaten with that stuff. Let's get my pickaxe out. Oh, right again. So this must be the second floor. This must be where the boss is. Just wait till my health comes back up again. <laughs> it's going to take a few seconds to do that, isn't it? While we're doing that, let's have a look down here. Oh, that was daft. I should have held the or excavator down. Ah, it's a trip wire. I think this is what the paper's for, to make the maps. So I was thinking it wasn't useless, but it's actually not useless. We've got to go to 27, haven't we? There's another blight. There's a blight cave spider, isn't there? Anti-venom does seem to work. 140 health for escape spider. I'm taking damage again. Oh goodness. Stand here, back and don't let them sort themselves out. Because with the little ones around, it's good because you get health quite quick, strength quite quickly. On the right button here. Okay, fine. Got him at last. A lot of stuff. So <laughs> let's carry on eating. So which way do we go now? It's another puzzle. Okay, so we're here. Oh, this 
of the river puzzle. Let's put the green one down then, go the orange way. What have we come to here? that's him. So we've actually got there. Goodness gracious me after all that. Let's quickly eat before I go back and attack the next boss. Because he's going to be hard as well, isn't he? I'm sure it's going to be hard this guy, so let's keep out of his way as much as possible. Oh, another blight. Can we keep out of their way? Something that I'm supposed to put in the right one. Two, three! Blight ones, goodness gracious me. It's going to take a while, but at least I can stop the other guy against me. <laughs> but it was an accident. <laughs> could do without blight minotaurs, couldn't we, really? Basically all I'm doing is holding down the right mouse button and whacking these guys. Got him, good. 70 left. Space. I think that's everything. Oh, uh, yep, another spider. So we could eventually completed that quest. Wow, that was hard work. This one doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, got him anyway. Well, that was a bit of luck, putting down that wall by accident. So there you go. So I've got the Minotaur axe and all sorts of bits and pieces. So let's get let's get out of here. There's probably some more stuff in it. Have a look. Well, there's some steel leaf and there's still some pickaxe, which I guess let's get rid of this. So we've updated. Oh, so we completed steel leaf, of course. Don't need the TNT. I guess the milk is for the spiders. I don't think I need this. Oh, a steel leaf helmet. I guess that's something. <laughs> They're stuck. They can't get to me. Not that it matters very much, because of course we can go out of here now. So let's go back to base. I think number two is where I keep my scroll. Let's go. So I think a world base. So let's put down another trophy. Where is he now? So I'm putting down my trophies down here. There we go. 
So then we're now going to have a look at the quest. Well, that was really quite a difficult one, wasn't it? It's was actually finding that was part of the problem. So there was another quest called Steel Leaf. So I'll just pick up this stuff here. I'm going to use this. That's quite efficient. It does, unfortunately, chop it into little bits. I'll take the last heart. 55 XP from all that. That's not bad, is it? So, quests. Let's go and put all of this stuff in here. I think I've been putting it in here. Yes, I have. Some raw meat. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look what else we've got on us. We've got a lot of steel leaf and a miniature axe. What's the, the damage that thing does? This is the interesting one here. See, these stack. But they don't stack there. What I'm curious about is putting these down, because we last time we did this, before we go and check the quests. Well, how about that? Three quests with three chests with exactly the same content. Amazing. So, right, sorry. Let's go and have a look at the um, quests. I call this episode a very, it's a very difficult episode. This one, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. How time we're going to to claim this one? But we've could, we've done that one. So we've got the miniature too. So we can claim that chest back. We've got a steel leaf, because we have to get one steel leaf thing. I'm going to claim that and pack. Then that opens up steel leaf tools. So we can make a steel leaf pick and a steel leaf shovel. So let's have a look at how much those are done. They're probably dead easy to do. I've got lots of steel leaves actually, we've got loads. How is it spelt? Oh, just one L. So, is that just, just ordinary sticks? And the other one was a pickaxe, huh? I think it was a pickaxe. Let me double check the rest. Let me double check the quest because I've already forgotten. It is a pick. So that should complete that quest as well. And then, of course, you see I've got 33. And I've got four left over. So we can make a seed for this. I don't know whether we need a seed, but we can do it anyway. So let's have a look. So I'm not sure what the tier is. Let's have a look. Uses of this. Because we can make all this armor. And it becomes enchanted. So you're getting better armor each time you go through the thing. So it's only a tier three seed. So we need four of those. And a... Uh, we need more. Actually, I can take one of those, because one of those will actually come craft down, won't it? So I'm going to make a seed from the beginning. So we need four of those. Oh, well, I'm not sure how many it goes down to. I think it goes down to four. That'll do eight. Fantastic. Oh, I got. Ah, oh, okay. I wasn't intending to do that. What I've just done is um, opened a loot chest. Let's look at this one. Vials of vigor. And I haven't claimed the other loot chest yet. So, so we need a seed. Hopefully, we've got a seed. If not, I'm going to have to make one. Yes, I've got twenty-eight. So now let's have a look. I want to make use of this one. Let's have a look. Recipe, recipe, recipe. So I'm missing four prosperity shards, and I've got plenty of those as it happens. Not in there though. They're in this chest, of course. 
You know, I didn't expect to have to make any more tier three uh, when I get the right chest. It is any more things at all? So any more seeds at all? Let's make this seed anyway and put it in. So one seed in the middle. Almost got that right. Of course, I've taken away the Prudentia. <laughs> I'll leave that in the middle there. I've removed four of these. That's quite 8,000. That's actually quite a lot. I wonder where that's coming from. I think it's all coming from the, the seed that I've got in here. Prudentium. Then we go around the outside with a steel leaf. We get a steel leaf seed. So we can go and put that in the one space that hasn't got a space. So we'll just dig, put that one in. Like that. Let's remove the block. Probably better with an axe. So there we are. Let's just open up these rest of these things. I might just cut the video and start and just do it. Yeah, you have to let me know actually what you think's best. I don't want it to be boring, and I know that fights can be sort of difficult, shall we say. Another heart, let's take that. Get rid of some of that stuff. Let's get rid of the diamond armor. And I'll do the rest of the cleanup. <laughs> Protection for iron wool. Pretty nice reward. That's what we've got in here. Steel leaf, of course, yes. So now I just need to put these into here. Well, I suppose here's as good as any place. And that'll empty out that very quickly. So that's a F. Let's go and finish off these quests. Claim that one. I got a steel leaf axe. I'm not sure why I need these. So we've got Hydra, and that will take us to the Night Phantom. So we're working our way through the bosses slowly. That last one was long winded. I must be honest with you. An axe, it gave, didn't give me an axe, it gave me a pickaxe. It took me about, I don't know how long. So I need more quests to complete. Oh, I just saw a chest. Let's get that chest out of here. Four ender pearls. So, next thing. This will actually, there's another use for this, is that to make an uncrafting table as well. It has, a, it has a use. You just basically put lots of crafting tables around it. Uses of that, you can make this. The only two uses. So we've got the map, the map maze, but only you can make an uncrafting table. I'll just have a quick look at the rest of this quest, I think. Should have given me a steely fax, but it gave me a pickaxe. I think that's wrong. Unless I missed, made a mistake with that one. Haven't done anything with that one. I would like to do it. Uh, haven't completed anything there yet. Haven't done any applied stuff. But I know I've completed something. Where was this one? It was an it was an accidental completion. Of course, we can now do the the some more of that one. Oh yes, look at all this stuff, the enchanter. Evil infused iron ingots. Enchanted ingots. Ultimate speed. Magical speed. That's completed a lot of those quests. So that's a lot. <laughs> Very useless. Um, I'm not going to do any Steve Cart stuff. I know Steve Cart's is quite good, so. Damn block of diamonds. Flux infused. Don't really need that. I've got a seed for it already. Oh, cobblestone. 
I'll get rid of these in my own time. Tidy up between episodes like I've been doing just recently. Oh, and an anvil and efficiency book. I shall put those, those here for the time being and then sort it out later on. Well, so is that all my quests done? Let's just double check. I think those are all the quests that have been done. So until next time, a very long episode, I do apologise. Maybe I just have leave the, the, the end bit in. So until next time, bye for now.